Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make and use magic beans, uh, which is the key component of getting the bean boozled advancements in Sky Factory 4. Uh, the magic bean is also a great resource to get a lot of the different types of flowers and things you'll need, need for miscellaneous uh, dyes in the game, uh, especially if you're in a biome where different flowers are not really growing. Now, if you find this video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like. But most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button. That way you can see all my videos and tutorials as they come out. Okay. So, the magic bean itself is pretty easy to get. Um, all you need is one cactus and four seeds. Um, and in the early game, one of the easiest ways to get the cactus is, of course, uh, from the market itself. Uh, but once you've got a hold of one of these beans, you're going to be in pretty good shape. Now, I do want to draw attention in the JEI. If you look up Magic Bean, you'll see there are two different ones. There's one here for Cyclic and one here part of the Twilight Forest mod. The Magic Bean in the Twilight Forest mod does not have a recipe in the JEI and will not complete the Bean Boozled advancement. You need to make the Cyclic Magic Bean in order to get that advancement. And this will make four of them, so you can plant multiple at a time. Once you've made that, you'll get the advancement itself. You don't have to plant it to get the advancement. So if we go over here, you'll see here, Bean Boozled, grow cyclic magic beans to obtain either seeds or flowers. But again, you just have to pick up the bean to get it. You don't actually have to plant it. But planting itself is, again, pretty easy. It's going to plant in regular tilled soil, just like anything else. It is affected by sprinklers and growth crystals. So you can increase the rate of growth, or you can use... Um, bone meal as well but it has a regular growing cycle but once it hits 100 percent mature like most crops right clicking on it will give you different items and in this situation you'll see that i got some torch berries from twilight forest and a pink tulip so we're going to go ahead and burn through this a few times just to see a couple of the different things that can come out of this it's mostly different plants or what a lot of people are going to consider junk um, but if you're in a biome where some of the flowers aren't growing that you want to make the different colored dyes early in the game, this is a great way to get a hold of a lot of the different flowers. So as you can see there, let's go over here into the chest so we can look at my full inventory. So out of that, I got white tulips, seeds, cocoa beans, orange tulips, strawberry seeds, torch berries, pink tulips, sugar cane, rice, tomato seeds, death stalker mushroom, melon seeds, ironwood sapling, mooncap poppy mushroom and pumpkin seed so as you can see i get a lot of different plants and such out of there uh, so that is a great way to really get a hold of a lot of those flowers early game um, that sometimes may not grow in your biome if you're in a desert biome and such can be a little harder to get a hold of and that's a pretty common question i get um, but most importantly just making one of the beans will give you the bean boozled advancement uh, and help you towards completing your advancements well, that's it for this tutorial. Pretty short one today. Um, if you have any questions about this tutorial or any of my tutorials, please be sure to put that down in the comments, and I'll do my very best to get back with you as soon as I can, as well as if you have any recommendations or suggestions for other tutorials that you'd like to see in Sky Factory 4, I'm always looking for new ideas. You can also go to my website, onlydraven.com, and there you'll find links to all my tutorials and videos, a link to the Only Draven Gaming Discord channel, my streaming schedule, as well as links to all my social media accounts. I highly recommend checking out at OnlyDraven on Twitter, as well as a bunch of cool different things uh, you'll find on the ODG store, such as cool Only Draven gaming merchandise. So I do recommend checking out the website. But that's going to do us for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.